Before we begin today's video, I just want to say I've been getting countless requests to make this, and I haven't felt right making it, as it's a very sensitive subject. However, today is Steven Seagal's birthday, and if you ask me, that is more than enough reason to make a video about Grimace. So, without any further ado, let's just jump into it. In order to fully understand this subject, we need to go back to 1986, when the McDonald's Corporation was in need of a new mascot. After spending several months and millions of dollars coming up with concepts, the McDonald's Corporation finally had its new mascot. And his name was Grimace. After appearing on several late night talk shows, Grimace quickly became an American icon. Merchandising was made. Movies were set into production. Everyone knew Grimace, and everyone wanted to be Grimace. Skip forward five years to 1983. Grimace lands the role of Rocky Balboa in the hit movie Jaws the Revenge, which in turn turns Grimace from being an American icon to being a world legend. Grimace even went as far as to start his own essential oil, called Grimace Some of That Chicken Fried Steak, which quickly became the world's number one cologne. But three months later, in October 1999, Grimace's life would take a drastic change. On that fateful September night, Grimace was driving on Highway 69, highly inebriated, drove his car directly into a crane, killing both the crane and the crane operator. Grimace was charged with 22nd degree murder. He was found not guilty. However, this court case brought up devastating news. Grimace was convicted of several accounts of eating cats. He was sentenced to 63 hours in prison. The world was devastated and went as far as to call him the original Bill Cosby. Having served his time, Grimace was set free. And while in prison, Grimace had found our Lord and Savior. With this newfound religion, Grimace turned his life around. He starred in movies again, such as Free Willy, The Harambe Story, and Grimace Formers. Grimace's resurgence in popularity didn't last long, as he was later found dead in his apartment due to a heroin overdose. That's where I'm going to end today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below who you want me to reveal shocking news about next. And as always, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, bash that dislike button, and slam that notification bell. As always, this is Bob Saget. Thanks for watching.